What's up guys, welcome back to a new Tangan Omega chapter review. Today we have chapter 107, which was short but solid throughout. We got some of the mystery about Nicholas revealed and I was right, so I'll take that quick dub again. And we also got some hype, supreme justice at the end of the chapter. Shout out to this mad lad for the early translations. The best version should be out now as you're watching this review. Let's begin. The chapter begins with a flashback of Nicholas and his friend Jean. I know that's not how you pronounce his name, he isn't Gene, but I'm just going to keep saying Gene because, you know, it's easier for me and I can't be bothered changing it. So, flashback to their, you know, special ops team, and we see that Nicholas's friend Gene was actually admiring Nicholas and saw him somewhat like a god. He mentions that everyone in the division was unknown to the world, they had no name, they were unknown to the public eye, all personal data did not exist, they had no family members, apart from the real Nicholas, who of course had Jerome. We have Jean saying the following about the real Nicholas. Nicholas was different from us. He was a true hero who abandoned his military post for the path of hardship. He was the center of the world and I was his supporter. Just, you know, demonstrating how much Jean looked up to Nicholas. And then we see real Nicholas with this, you know, curious at sooner looking face after he killed all the civilians. It's revealed here that the real Nicholas was the one who killed all the civilians and the other members of the, you know, military squad. We see a little bit of the fight between Gene and Nicholas, with Gene saying he was the protagonist of this world, Nicholas Lee Banner, but it resulted with Gene killing Nicholas. And as we know, Gene considered Nicholas like a god, and once he, you know, killed him, he said the following. What is this? Was he not the protagonist after all? No, it was always like this. Farewell, Gene, my old friend. And we see that Gene, Nicholas's friend, has became the current Nicholas who's fighting Justice Boy. So pretty much, Jean admired Nicholas so much. Nicholas, you know, snapped, went crazy, had other motives, killed all the civilians. Jean killed Nicholas and due to his, you know, admiration and how much he admired the real Nicholas, he pretty much became the, you know, replacement or imposter of Nicholas. And that's who the current Nicholas Lee Banner is. So, yep, that's pretty much explained. I hope we get more, like, psychological explanation about how this actually occurred apart from him, you know, admiring him so much, seeing him as a god, and, you know, him killing him resulting in this to happen. It's kind of confirmed that this doesn't really involve Worm. It could very well involve Worm that we may learn of soon, but I'm guessing this is most likely not related, which I hope it isn't, so yeah. Current Nicholas is confirmed crazy dude, and we cut back to the fight with Nicholas saying, I was Nicholas Lee Banner all along. So yeah, he thinks he's Nicholas, and that's what he's going with. Before I continue, make sure you're subscribed, and if you're an absolute mad lad, check out the other stuff in the description, like the Discord and Patreon. Now, back to the video. We see that Justice Boy still can't move due to the nerve damage, and he gets knocked down again by a few more strikes from Nicholas. We see, you know, Koga and Okubei telling him to defend himself, get up, and we see, you know, his main hoe who of course is there, I expected to see her at some point. She says the following, Please don't lose sight of it. Don't let justice lose. So I'm guessing she has fully succumbed to his justice. She's not even trying to stop his, you know, kill her crazy ways at this point. She's just embracing it, which is to be expected when, you know, Justice Boy is this level of crazy at this point. Even after getting knocked down for a second time, he's able to get up with a counter free. And he still hasn't really taken any damage. We see a little bit of blood from his forehead from that punch a few chapters ago and some coming out of his mouth. But the main issue in this fight is the, you know, nerve-based attacks Nicholas is using. He isn't physically that strong to deal immense damage to Justice Boy to knock him out. However, Nicholas lands an uppercut and a few other strikes. We've got Omer saying he's recovering from that damage. So proving even more that Nicholas may have these nerve-based attacks, but his raw power isn't that important impressive and isn't really doing too much to Justice Boy. And then to try and recover even more, Justice Boy, you know, gives Nicholas a hug. And then we have Nicholas implying that he's going to kill him right here. I will not miss this opportunity. The Reaper is never fair after all. It's a great night to die and we have his hands, or I should say his arms, you know, up about to attack him from behind. But before he can do anything, Justice has strike and he bites into like the neck of Nicholas with him saying the following. 
I will execute justice. Evil must perish. And we see his crazy eyes as he's biting into Nicholas. Looking at the bite again, it's more into his trap. I'm guessing there's like a tendon there or something. So that's why there's a crazy amount of blood popping out of Nicholas. I don't think Nicholas is dead, but it's just hard to see, you know, Justice Boy's crazy face and another bite from him. I'm guessing Nicholas is going to get that Cosmo treatment next chapter possibly with, you know, Supreme Justice here to punish. This, you know, absolute hype all around. I'm also guessing this isn't breaking the rules to bite your opponent. I believe this wasn't specified when the rules got explained. So he didn't break the rules in biting him here. And I also expect Nicholas to most likely go crazy or snap next chapter as well. Maybe similar to how he killed the real Nicholas and, you know, decided to become him. Something similar to that, or maybe the current Nicholas will just, you know, start freaking out after getting bitten by Crazy Justice Man. Can't wait for the next chapter. I'm guessing this fight will only have a maximum of three chapters left. If I had to guess, it's probably one or two. Next chapter, maybe, you know, Justice, you know, doing more damage to Nicholas, and then the chapter after that, I predict Nicholas is going to snap and probably kill him. That will be, you know, my line of predictions. Let me know your thoughts of the chapter down in the comments. It's also possible Nicholas hasn't demonstrated everything he's capable of. As we know, low long before the fight started, said Nicholas, when he's in the zone, is capable of, you know, being comparable to the top tiers of Purgatory. And even though he's been dominating Justice Boy for the majority of the fight, that's mainly due to his nerve-based strikes and how Justice Boy kind of blocks attacks rather than dodging giving Nicholas the opportunity to be very effective on him during this fight and also the slap before the fight even began to you know mess up one of his eyes so that's also part of you know why Nicholas has been dominating the fight so far and even when he got hit once by you know the shoulder attack from uh, Justice Boy that dealt quite a bit of damage and I would say even more than the amount of damage Justice Boy has taken from Nicholas so far. So Nicholas isn't very physically powerful. He has his nerve based attack which is effective but he doesn't really have the ability to finish his opponent too well or that's what it seems like. And it also seems like he was going to kill him in this chapter and that would have you know resulted in him losing. So I do believe one of these two will definitely die by the end of this fight. I don't see any way that they won't unless it's like a draw double knockout a loss of blood for both of them or something crazy like that and i do think this fight has the potential to be the best of the tournament so far or at least one of the best everything we've got so far has been better than half of the fight so yeah this fight has insane potential and i do have faith in it being the best of the tournament so far and of course the other hype fights that are to come later on in you know the series can't wait for all of those but yeah this chapter has been pretty hype hype chapter all around if you haven't already make sure to join the discord if you want to talk more about kangen or you want chapter links for you know various translations that come out the roles and everything like that but yep that's pretty much everything for today's chapter review hope you enjoyed that's it guys peace